uh, was a guy's door that was locked up here. The fuller has left it inset here, so I can just uh, uh, render two days there. I'm going to replicate that wee gap there on this side as well. there and um, so the two coat this of the scratch it and then rub it up with some cement on me so that side as well and the others put me the other side of that and um, I'll be using my refiner trial to coat everything and give it a good test so that's the first coat all done it's all well scratched. Uh, the black hole at the bottom here. Uh, I had to double coat this and rub it up to a uh, big reveal. Otherwise, uh, the next day I come back and be very difficult to be able to work the corners in because it'll all be soft. Um, that's why it works. So, the way I do it is I tack on the rules either side there. Um, get all the sort of things done so that it's hard angle to work with the next time. You can see I've done the, the other wee inset here as well. Just um, prefer it that way guys, it's it's a lot easier to work with. Um, so it's everything scratched. Um, Final trial worked pretty well and um, actually worked a lot felt a lot nicer than what I thought it was going to. So I underestimated how comfortable it was gonna be. Um, I was actually using gloves as well on this job um, and it still felt comfortable to hold. So this side's also got two wee insets here. Um, it actually works out a bit handier where I don't have the trend patched in too much. Um, so guys this is it done, it's actually trying to rain on me here. Um, so I just put two sticks up here there. It's just a tiny wee drip coming off the face of the there, so I have the two drips and they're just tracking on the stick. And there's that there, the inset there, the brick, and got it replicated. And then the exact same size. Obviously, the other three needs to come away as well on the other side. And yeah, I can barely see here with the green drops on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all rubbed up guys anyway, um, um, literally just have to tidy up now, um, wash the mixer out, and tidy up whatever is laying about, get it, get it all made up and washed, um, a couple of really quick papers out the front there, just bits went through the, the plastic sheet and just would need washed as well, um, but that's all rubbed up guys. It came in very, very tidy, so it did. Um, actually, a lot easier working into the insets and the could be revealed on the edge there, other than trying to patch it in. Um, a wee quick look at here to refine it off. So, uh, I'll be using it a couple more times also with the Tizak, but I thought I would give it a go with salt and cement, considering I know the Tizak's up to the task. So, guys, um, that's it for now anyway and I'll, I'll catch you on the next video.